Hi guys. One of our listener submitted questions has to do with heat and what are some things that owners can do to keep their patient from overheating to begin with? Great question. So dogs and cats, that'll be a little different. Cats are generally pretty self-sufficient. As long as they have access to water and cool water and shade, they generally take care of themselves pretty good. It's our canine friends that tend to get themselves in more trouble with exhaustion and not being able to get out of the heat and not having cool water and things like that. So what are some things that you can do to help minimize that or let your patient cool off when they need to cool off? One thing that I really like to do is just go buy a little kitty pool. And I usually will tell clients buy two because their claws will poke a hole in the first one, then it just drains. And you buy the little six inch kitty pools, the Walmart ones, the small ones, fill that up with water. A lot of dogs will go in and put their paws in it. They do not sweat, but that is one way that they can cool themselves off. Make sure that's not hot water in the middle of the sun. <laughs> that doesn't help them if it's 95 degrees outside and you go sit in a hot tub. That's not gonna help cool us off, so make sure it's in the shade and they can cool off. Some patients will go lay down and roll in it. That's nice and easy because they can do it at their leisure. Just clean it out, change the water. If you don't, you'll get algae and the normal things. So <clears throat> that's one good start. Another one is simple. Keep plenty of fresh water, keep it in the shade. Uh, one of the other things that my mom's done for a really long time, if you have the right breed for it, is just take the water hose, give them a treat while you cool them off, and a lot of patients will figure out, hey, I feel better, and they will look forward to the water. If you have a patient who has water phobias, that might not work so well for you. But you can do fans, those are easy ones. And one of the other things you can do is if you have a long coated breed, so like our Huskies, our Shepherds, even a Burmese Mountain Dog or you know something like that, simply just getting them shaved down once a year can really make a difference for those thick coated breeds that are designed to live in the Northern states or higher up. Reality is we live in the desert, it's hot. Those breeds with thick coats like Retrievers We'll get a lot more hot spots and things as well. So by simply shaving them down, you actually might minimize a lot of those risks and keep it cooler for them and minimize your exposure to heat exhaustion and heat strokes. One side note, I will tell you with the shave down, every dog's a little different. Sometimes their hair does not grow back exactly the same and it's a little more coarse. Every breed's a little different with it. Every individual patient's a little different. Just know that before you shave them. I think that's another great way to go. Hopefully that was helpful, guys. Thanks again for all your encouragement and support. Please let us know some other topics you'd like to talk about. <laughs>